We will get started ripping the little ATV pull the draper. We're gonna find out. We're rolling on beans. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to some American farming. Do a freaky little dance move to start this video off. As you guys can see, me and Bo are actually on a different farm. We're at our neighbor's farm, and uh, he was renting the feed wagon. He wanted to try out the Meyer feed wagon. So we pulled it over here with the pickup truck. He tested it out a little bit and we're gonna take it back to the farm. But we have soybean harvest to start today, and then we have a lot of field work we gotta knock out. I don't know how many acres of soybeans to knock out for harvest, and we don't have a soybean draper even, so I'm gonna go buy a draper quick, and then we're gonna start with probably some fall tillage, either some chisel plowing, or we'll just start getting anhydrous on it. So that's the plan for today. Bo's in the back, he's just having himself a good old time. And we are trucking. There's some cool new DLC that's gonna be coming soon, guys. I think you guys are gonna like it. And also, people have been asking about Farm Sim videos. Yes, I will be playing Farm Sim still. I love that game. I also love American Farming, so we're going to be playing both. Um, but I will still be playing Farm Sim. We'll still be doing mine videos. We'll still be doing all that. So, currently in the cow-calf pen, we do have some calves, and they are close to being moved over to the next pen. Oh, check this out. So, in the calving pen, these guys are yearlings, which means they are ready to go and they can get transferred over to this pen, the feedlot pen. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. Now, I don't have like a mini trailer to transport them, so we're gonna use a semi. I just have one big livestock trailer that's on the semi, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fire up the semi, and we're gonna move it with this. Question, do you guys like first person, which is this, or third person better, which is this camera view? I don't know. I, I like third person better, but some people like playing in first person better. It's it's just a preference. Let me know down below what you guys are liking. So equipment run through. We did buy a new tractor, a quad track 600. We got in the shed and we got it on the grain cart. We got it on the Brent 1596. And then on the planter tractor, we did get a row track instead. And I sold off the Magnum. So we have a 470 row track on there um, on the 1265 36 row planter. And then we have a versatile 620 wheeled, not Delta track out there as our big four-wheel drive. So we did some switching up of some equipment. And then we do have two 1206s, a little ATV, and then we have, wow, wow, ah, somebody stole my dirt bike, it was in here. I did have a dirt bike in here. Okay, so we gotta back the semi up and load up these yearlings, just transfer them over. Simple as that. And I got Bo, my right-hand man, he's ready to go too. We'll tap that. And I'm just gonna hit low to wind, that button down there. I'm gonna hit low to wind, and that'll load all the yearlings, and then the cows will stay in there. Unload all, perfect. And then if we look in the barn, we have 36. So we have some steers, and then we have some yearlings. These steers need feed though. If you look at feed, we do not have feed right now. We need to get feed for these guys. Okay, back here on in here, one thing I do wish, I do wish these doors on the shed was just one big machine shed door. And that is 100% my fault. There we go. Should be good. Shut the garage door behind us if Bo's coming. Did I trap Bo in there? I might have trapped him. In. Oh, Bo. He just wants to lay another quad track. Okay, Bo. Just sit underneath there. That's fine. Now, I, now I do have a header trailer, but I only have one. And I have a corn head and I need to go get a bean head. So that means I think we're going to have to just put the corn head on the ground for now. I kind of have this spot over here as my outside storage. It's just like this grass spot and it works pretty good. So I think this is where we're just gonna drop it for now. I'll just drop that off. And then we need to go buy a bean head. Cause I'd like to at least get a hired worker starting on soybeans here. Now I could, <laughs> I could pull this all the way over there. You can actually move this with your ATV, but I think we're gonna pull it with a pickup truck just to be a little more realistic. And then we'll disconnect the Meyer feed wagon and hook up to the header trailer. Come on, turning radius, man. Okay, down the road we go. We'll see you, Bo. This is the field of beans we gotta harvest. So as soon as we get back with this draper, I'm gonna be harvesting this field of beans. If you guys are wondering, I'm playing with a controller. And controller is so much better than using your fingers to play with. And case draper, which I'm not sure requires 400 horsepower, which we should have. We're gonna purchase it. 97,000 and then we'll get somebody from the dealership to load us up and the good old sales manager at the dealership is Dale Elderson Hey Grant, yeah, I'll get you loaded up here. Thanks Dale. Appreciate it, man. Okay, we got Dale to load us up there um, We should be loaded. Everything should be strapped down. I'm thinking got the draper looking good looking good looking good It's hanging off the edge a little actually 
No, it's not. It's good. It's kind of nice. This trailer like automatically just extends out just the way the game is built. Works good. If you guys don't know, he's actually Chet Elderson's long lost cousin. Dale Elderson. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. We do we do up to 55 mile an hour with this trailer, so it works good. And the truck can easily pull it, of course. So, we'll be back to the farm in no time. This is one of the fields we gotta get started working here. Working ground on, but at least I wanna get the beans harvested over here. It's kind of like an awkward side hill that comes off the shed. So it might be a little tough to get attached to the draper, but we should be good. There we go. Back her up. I'm gonna move the truck and just park this out of the way. We'll probably park it in the grass over there. There we go. For now, that should be good. Okay, boys, it is bean time. We're gonna try and avoid these poles with the draper. We should be good. If we hit a trash can, it's okay. We can tip it back over, but we just need to get into the field and start entering. Make sure there's no cars coming. Should be good. And we didn't even hit a trash can. Oh, I went to harvest beans and this is a new mistake and it wouldn't harvest. I'm like, what the heck? And I realized I got corn in the tank still. If you look back there, we got corn in the tank. It's probably a no-go mixing beans with corn. So we're gonna go dump this real quick. We technically only need one wagon, but both of these are connected. So I'm gonna leave them connected. We'll just run over the combine real quick and we'll get some corn loaded. Perfect. Okay, we should be good to harvest beans now. Okay, here we go. There we go, now we got some beans harvested. Perfect. Now usually I start an AI worker just running here, but I kinda wanna do some of this myself. Like, I'm usually trying to AI worker, AI worker, AI worker this, AI worker that, and it, it's kinda fun just doing it yourself instead of hiring AI workers out all the time. Now I'm pretty sure we put on the correct fertilizer here, so these beans should be pretty good yielding. Um, they're Beans don't yield as much as corn in real life, and that's the same way in this game, but they'll be pretty good yielding for a bean crop, we'll say. Probably in that 65, 70 bushel range. Okay, as much as I'd like to harvest this whole field myself, we need to stay efficient as possible because the cattle need fed, we need to haul corn. We got corn in the bins that we need to actually take the elevator, haul manure, get uh, fall tillage done, so. I think what we're going to do is just hire out a worker. We're going to hire out a worker, start headlands and rows. He's going to do his thing, and we're just going to keep him running with the grain car. We've harvested a couple fields, so check out how much corn we got in the bins. And we actually need to start drying this corn down. So I'm going to unload it because I've got, let's see, 6,000 bushel in bin 2. Bin 1 has, I could put this in bin 3. We'll put this in, we'll just throw it in bin 1. If you go over here, there's going to be a little icon that pops up. There's a little flame right here. So we'll turn the dryer on and it's going to dry down my corn to 15 or 15.5. I can't remember. It's at the first bin is at 15.5 already. The second bin's at 18.4. So that should be dry, dry down to uh, 15.5 too. Perfect. And I'm getting charged money for the grain drying, of course, because it uses propane. Okay, we need to get one tractor started on some tillage. I'm not sure, we could get the versatile, the quad track over on the grain cart. We've got the 470 on the planter, but we don't have to have it on the planter. Primary tillage, if you guys don't know, gives you a 10% a yield bonus. If you do primary tillage, you put all the, all the fertilizer on, um, you're gonna get the highest yield possible. So that's why I like to run it. So we'll run probably the Landall Disc Ripper. It's, it's a lot, it's expensive, but it's a 13 shank, so you can cover a good amount of acres with it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna run it on the wheeled versatile. I do have two 1206s. I love my 1206s, guys. That's why we got two of them. Okay, and I need to move the quad out of the way too. Can I even fit the versatile through the door? I think I actually went in the other door. I don't know if this is gonna fit through the door, guys. We're gonna find out, but I don't know if these duels are even gonna fit through here it's gonna be close it is gonna be really close it looks like it'll work there we go perfect it's still gonna be a while before that combine's full so we're gonna run on down to the dealership pick up that land all disc ripper and get started disc ripping as always guys i am affiliated with squad built the creators of this game so this is basically a paid advertisement this video i always consider it that way and try and be transparent let you guys know that okay here's the mama jama it's a land all 13 shank disc ripper. Check this thing out. So it's got two front disc gains in the front that just mix residue, stir it, 
What model is it? It's a 2430 13 shanks. So I think it's the biggest one. Those stir it. And then you got the shanks in the back that bury, try and bury all the residue. This, these mix and chop, these shanks go deep, bury all the residue, take out any compaction in the ground. And then you got these tines on the back that are just meant to start leveling. And then you have the uh, reel on the back that just levels and breaks up any like big clumps and stuff. So it's supposed to be kind of an all-in-one tillage tool. It won't do one pass. You'll, you'll still have to come back in the spring with like a fuel cultivator or something, but it does a heck of a job though. Back her up and just get close enough and it'll automatically hook up. Perfect. You can see the grain drying operation keeps going off because we have so many bushels in there. We have like 6,000 bushels uh, that are in storage there. Okay, this is the field I'd like to get started on. Now this is always gonna go to corn because some of this I'm thinking is gonna be silage. We'll just take back the silage. We will get started ripping. I'll drop her in the ground. That combine's actually gotta get close to being full. There we go, we'll drop her in the ground. And you can only go six mile an hour with this. To push it to like 10 mile an hour, you, there we go. And it's empty because it's, uh, all, everything's dried. We are rolling. There's the farm right there. You know, we could get two disc rippers started. I could have the AI going, and then we could buy another disc ripper to run on like the 470 road track, maybe a smaller one, um, like an 870 or something like that. And then I could have AI going on one, and then I could be ripping the other part of the field too. That'd, that'd work pretty good. I love that view. You got the versatile, the land all, and then you got the farmstead in the background, old American baby. And I forgot who's around the combine there, but like I said, they've already done like one or two headland passes and they're, well, they're probably really close to full. We probably need to get the grain cart out, but they're going good. Now I'm going to check the price of corn really quick. This is something I've actually, well, maybe I've showed one time. Right now it's April. Once I get to like June, July, I need to start selling some of this corn because it's going to shoot up to like six sixty almost seven bucks um come july so yeah we'll sell it and then we need to see what elevator either main elevator or yield mill is what we'll sell it to okay we got our headland passes done here the field's designed to go at a certain angle so if i want ai to start working it i could start it on rows i'm not sure if it's going to go to the left or to the right i'd assume it's going to go to the right but i could be wrong so i'm going to actually start an ai worker here we will drop her in and we'll go rows only and then it's gonna, I, I don't know if it's gonna go left or right. We're gonna find out though, but I'll let him take over the night shift and we got a quick run. I love the guys running style. We got a quick run and grab a grain cart real quick because this guy is gonna be full over on this bean field. Ah, shoot, I have beet or I have corn in here too. So since I have a little bit of corn left in here, it's not gonna unload. I need to go dump it in those wagons. Okay, there we go. Got the rest of the corn out. We're coming, come on driver. Hold up, hold up, man. I really wish we would have put a entrance here. This is 100% on me not having a driveway entrance right there. Because every time I drive across that, I'm going to be like, Grant, why didn't you put a driveway entrance right there? Come on, man. Ah, I hate doing it this way, but we got to do it this way, boys. We got to cut through the beans. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like doing it this way, but he's super full. Come on, come on, send me. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. There we go. And then if you just put it in first gear, it'll start unloading. I got to get closer. I'm off. Okay, he is empty. We're gonna get out of the beans because I hate doing it like that. Okay, it is morning now and there's just so much to do. I can never keep up with it. But we gotta feed cattle, get these guys fed. We have a bunch of cattle feed in the silos, I'm pretty sure. Heck, I can check, but like, check this out. Cattle feed, we've got 94,000 pounds of cattle feed in there. So trust me, we got a ton. But in order to keep these mamas happy over here and producing calves, we gotta keep them fed. And then we gotta keep the steers fed too. Over there there's just there's just a lot we kind of need to get a bigger cattle feed trailer in my opinion feed these guys and we'll load again feed them again okay that was my third wagon load these guys if you look in the feed bar bottom right hand corner these guys are basically full they should be good okay we will go feed the feed lot now, because there's so much, so many cattle in here, so many steers, yearlings, like it's tough to put a dent even in the feedlot number. I mean, these guys take a ton of feed. 
One down and many to go. Okay, we're gonna catch the combine. Combine's gonna be full pretty soon here. We're gonna keep catching it. This isn't that big a field, guys. And with beans, like, I don't even think we'll get a full grain cart load here. Like, it's it's really just not that big a field. Oh, sped up too fast. We're spilling. There we go. Yeah, we're rolling, though. We're rolling on beans. And I'm guessing he should be close to empty. We'll split ways. Okay, we're cleaning up a couple of the AI workers' mistakes. Sometimes it has a tough time when it's a uh, four-wheel drive that pivots in the center, getting it perfectly. And I think if I would have had the AI worker do the headlands itself, it would have done more laps than what I did before we started on rows, and it would have been would have been a lot better. To get a perfect AI worker and do odd shaped fields like we did, oh boy, it is so tough. We spent seemed like months and months and months on AI workers trying to get them perfect. It is so challenging. That's why if we just had square fields and just put a bunch of grass around the fields, the AI workers, oh, that'd be so much easier if they just went straight across the rows, didn't do headlands or anything like that. But we thought it was worth it for realism to do odd shaped fields and have them do headlands and stuff. So, oh boy, was it a struggle though. Okay, this field is done. I'm gonna have the workers start on the next field over here, which would have been corn. Yeah, I'm gonna have him knock out that field, that long rectangle field right there. Part of this, we took off a silage, so that's why there's no crop residue there, uh, right around the edges, because we took some of that for silage. Drop her in, let her go, and we'll let Mason go to work. I think it's gonna be a different name, but I ca I'll call him, oh, it's Mason, perfect. Get to work, Mason. And we are done with beans on this field. Beans are complete. We'll go unload the combine, and then we don't have any more crops to harvest until we get some more stuff growing here, so we got a lot of planting to do. Do not make fun of me for this soybean texture, guys. This is kind of what a field looks like. This is this is a real life photo of like a field I took, and we use that for the texture. Because theoretically, especially if it was no-till, there's actually a lot of corn stalks left over even after soybean harvest on the ground. There's just usually a lot more bean stubble too mixed in with it. But uh, it, it kind of looks good if you don't if you don't look at it too too closely. Okay, we'll keep on feeding the cattle. We need to get this bean head off of here, so I am going to line this up as best as I can. And heck, we're just going to use the ATV. ATV, well, we can't use this one. We're, we'll use the other utility ATV, because this one doesn't have a hitch on it. Otherwise, I would use this one. Get on, Bo. Let's go, man. <laughs> the dog can ride on the ATV. Oh, man, I love doing unrealistic stuff like this. He'll even hang on if you're doing 50 mile an hour and hitting like a 30-foot jump. He'll hang on there. Bo. Good old Bo. Okay, let's see if the quad can pull the header trailer along with the draper theoretically in real life this would be a, a heavy heavy load for it but i think even in real life it could pull this i'm pretty sure it could pull it in real life we're gonna figure it out even though this is a video game oh gosh oh gosh there we go perfect that disconnection was not the smoothest there okay combine is going in cold storage i don't know if it's gonna fit in here but we are gonna sure as heck try it i don't yeah, I have no clue. It's going to be close. Oh, gosh. This is going to be really close. This is going to be really close. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, it fit. You guys didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. There we go. Okay. For now, yeah, we won't need it for a while, so cold storage it is. And the question is, can the little ATV pull the draper? We're going to find out. I got Bo on the back for some rear weight. He's going to add rear weight. Again, this is two-wheel drive, so we'll see if we're slipping. Come on. Gosh darn it. Son of a god. Gosh darn it. I wasn't paying attention. It can pull it pretty easily. There we go, baby. There we go. And actually, let's put this inside too. Why not put this inside since we're going to put the combine inside? We might as well at least put the draper header inside also. With the ATV though, like, check out how tight this turns. It actually works pretty good moving this header around with the ATV. There we go. There we go. Just swing as wide as possible. Okay, the only thing is... I might try and back it in the corner there. It's going to be tough, but I think with the ATV, I might be able to back this thing in. We're going to see. Ah, come on. I might be able to get in this corner here. This is like the fifth attempt to get in the corner with the ATV. And I think I can do it. We're doing it. Just slow, slow movements. That is good enough for me. I am calling that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, guys. The cows are fed. We got harvested. And Bo's doing a moonwalking back there. But anyways, 
thanks for watching this episode, guys. I plan to start a series, so let me know what content you want on this. I kind of want to start from scratch. I know it's going to be tough, but I'd like to kind of start from scratch or start a dairy farm because I kind of just jumped into this farm. So I love this farm. This is probably my favorite, but I might try something different. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, if you're interested in the game, it is on the App Store and Google Play Store. Although I'm sure if you're watching this, by the end of this video, you probably already have the game and you're probably playing it. So anyways, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.